halfway through December of 2023. The Carrefour hypermarkets were clearancing their toys. Buy 50 euro worth of toys and you got 25 euro off. So basically 50% off. Uh, this stuff I got at the um, location in my city that is the furthest away from where I live. Bought for a little bit over 150 euro. So got 75 euro back. So that comes down to 49.61% off. And Mattel was stilling, still doing the uh, buy to get one uh, free uh, sale. So that comes down to an extra 33.34% off on the uh, Mattel stuff. In this case, uh, these Hot Wheels 10 packs. Uh, but we start with uh, uh, the only meso I have here. Uh, the Alarm Busters. Uh, vehicles with sound and uh, light uh, as it says there in French try me um, this is a VW van in a French fire department livery official licensed product by VW also says it again here uh, 2022 release so yeah kind of expensive at normal price definitely if you consider that the, the top part is plastic so but for this kind of money you know i'll pick it up so let's take a look I'll try not to push it oh yeah i should open it this way but i don't think that works very well let's see so there's a little uh paper that is uh, I believe required in Europe to put in uh, to accompany something that has a battery in it so the bottom part of uh, the body is metal and the top part is plastic it's not that visible on the side it's very nicely shut and also in the front here it's very well done but just in the rear you can see a little bit of a gap there uh, between the metal and the plastic it's got a plastic base Volkswagen Type 2 bus, it says there, 2020 Volkswagen copyright, also has the uh, date on the base there. The uh, European emergency telephone number and then the French number. Got some uh, tampons in the front, on the side, uh, nothing in the rear. So uh, it's got some flashing, so apparently they drill uh, a hole in that plastic. So it's not like it's molded uh, like that with a hole in it, which is interesting. Uh, I think you have to push one of these axles to activate it. Let's try the rear. There you go. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and it also works on the, on, the, on the rear. Oh, wow, so there's two switches in there. Uh, that must, must make it a little bit more costly. Awesome. Glad I finally have one of these. Let's get to the Hot Wheels 10 packs. So they are, these are ridiculously, ridiculously expensive at normal price, almost 27 euro. And that's the case in many stores that have these. Um, so reduced to 17.99. Uh, that's kind of half price, is it? I guess, yeah. And then uh, the 33% off, I think it's like that. Anyway, I calculated it on my um, receipt, so it's it's correct. So less than one euro per car. That is um, not very common here in Europe to find them that cheap. They got a, uh, what kind of copyright, 2022 copyright copyright date, so uh, 2023 release, it's got that exclusive Volkswagen Mark II in there, oops, sorry, bump the light, so let's see, uh, let's get the uh, junk out of the way. This is the Track Hammer. This is a 2023 multi-pack exclusive. I will not throw this away. I will give this to a friend 
who likes uh, this kind of stuff, the uh, exclusives I don't uh, donate. This is 16 Angels, a uh, 2023 multi-pack exclusive also. Then we got the Shark Cruiser, Shark Cruiser, also a 2023 multi-pack exclusive. And the Bedlam, which is also a 2023 multi-pack exclusive. Then we got some main lines in here from 2023, the Subaru WRX STI. Nice one. I like this casting a lot. It's got uh, good lines on it, uh, the casting. So even if you don't get a uh, tempo, uh, at least you can, uh, I mean, you can see what it looks like, the real car. So that's a good one. I like it. That's not always the case. Got the Fantasy a Mainline 2 here. I forgot that one. 2023 Dimachini Veloce. This is also a Mainline. The 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth. Nice one. Lens headlights. Metal spoiler. Sweet. 2022 Mainline, so this is an older one, Aston Martin V12 Speedster, and it is in every single one of these uh, 10 packs, so they really wanted to uh, get rid of these, clearly. Not very popular, I kind of like it, I'm okay with it. This is a very nice uh, multi-pack exclusive for 2023, the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Details front and rear, and it's got the um, hook assembly, so uh, a clip from the base clips into the body, so no posts or anything in there. That is awesome. One of the last of the Mohicans, and the exclusive decoration vehicle, the Volkswagen Golf, originally from 1989 and then retooled 2018. Nice side deco, nothing in the front nor in the rear, but again, you get some casting details so you can kind of see what it looks like. And we got just a uh, stripe there that is uh, unfortunately incomplete. Oh well, it is what it is. Second one is the one with the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS. As the exclusive decoration vehicle. Here's the carbide, also 2023 exclusive. Uh, sorry, yeah, multi pack exclusive, that's what I meant to say. Driftsa, same 2023 multi pack exclusive. This is a the Pass and Gasser, also a generic multi pack exclusive from 2022. Got lost in there, I guess. Mm, let's see, um, let's take a look at the main lines. We just saw this one because that's in there, as I said. It's in all of these. This is the 2023 mainline Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Twenty twenty three mainline, the uh, two thousand seventeen Pagani wire ro roadster, uh, metal flake white, not bad. And then we get to the multi pack exclusives that are uh, licensed: Super Volt in red, chrome interior, so we get a chrome engine, and shoot in the back, huge wing. And the two nicest ones, except for the Porsche 1990 Acura NSX in this nice green 2023 multi pack exclusive. Sweet. And then the newer NSX from 2017 in purple. 
details front and rear nicely done and here we got that uh, Porsche sweet nice blue side deco top deco awesome and I got another one of these of this with that exclusive this is an amazing 10 pack it's got three Porsches in it one two three it's got two Lamborghinis in it one two it's got the Aston Martin and you got a Lotus how about that that's a pretty good 10 pack I don't mind to get it and then I don't mind getting another uh, Porsche uh, exclusive decoration vehicle did not have the black uh, Porsche 911 so yeah lots of reasons for me to buy this definitely not this the carbide 2023 multi-pack exclusive the uh, what's it called sorry that's not the carbide that's what that was the torque twister 2022 multi-pack exclusive that was then we got the slingshot 2022 multi-pack exclusive also then we get the praying menace also a 2022 multi-pack exclusive then let's see you got the few main lines 2022 mainline this 2000 uh, no, 1971 lamborghini miura p400 sv very nice blue we got the uh, bertone the logo on the side there the designer gray uh, part is a part of the uh, interior i guess uh, nicely detailed on top there and we get the uh, details in the back p400 sv so yeah very nicely tempo it's got four tempo sides there's nothing to complain about well maybe these bigger wheels in the rear but you know it's a hot wheels car what can you expect 2022 mainline this porsche 911 gt3 in flat black did not uh, i was not able to get it well if i paid uh, scalper prices i could have but uh, you know that's not going to happen with me um and it's black so it was not that important for me to get but this flat black is pretty cool i must say uh it's got all the details you would like it's got that those lens headlights too that sets it off sweet uh, of course there's this thing in here from 2022 also so a lot of 2022 stuff in this one and then we get to the multi-pack exclusives lamborghini aventador j nice green the top deco and that's all we're getting nothing in the rear yeah and a cheap uh, hot wheels porsche 356 outlaw nice one two filler cap sticking through there yeah beauty and the lotus esprit s1 they've done a lot of multi-pack exclusives of this one and uh, yeah it's uh, not easy to try and get all of them um, but this one's very nicely done too as many of them are and we already saw this one i think it's the same right there's no wheel variation or anything now that's the same okay cool then we get to majorette let's uh get some stuff out of the way in the front here we start start at the with the basic range of major red the street cars um a recolor for the toyota corolla altis in uh, 2023 in blue a normal price you know they're not cheap you get a lot of bang for your buck you get suspension you get lens headlights you get usually get four tempo sides you get the did i mention the lens headlights um yeah so 
they're really nice even a, a boring car like this um, but you know I still like to get them uh, priced down this uh, was packaged in Bangkok on the 6th of March of 2023 I will open this up whenever I manage to do a uh, streetcars 2023 catalog video a little stop step higher up premium cars a recolor for the Volkswagen Golf Mark 7 GTI pretty uh, expensive at normal price again and this uh, also 2023 cap packaging date nice green this uh, strangely enough was not that popular I, I had no trouble finding this uh, uh, priced down on clearance so yeah Volkswagen is just not that popular anymore it seems then let's um, skip to the vintage cars here so I got the uh, the gift pack um, yeah these have gotten up quite a bit too uh, but this is what I used to pay for these when I started collecting in 2017 um, I think um, January 2018 I got my first major gift packs at the uh, Carrefour hypermarket at this location and they were both uh, 10 euro each at uh, normal price so yeah uh, and that's uh, yeah six years ago six years ago so, yeah. uh, I kind of pre already prepared this uh, so cut it open and uh, made the cars a little bit easier to get off the base 2022 uh, packaging date on this a little bit older the back shows you the opening parts on all the vehicles Let's take them out. I will put them back in there. I uh, have a whole wall of these gift packs. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit yeah, inside. Uh, let's tilt you guys down a little bit, right? You can see me goofing about with these rubber bands usually well nowadays they are very tight on there um, for transport for just to sit in my uh, living room they don't need to be that tight so I just loosen them up a little bit Porsche 917 KH I already have this one um, this was uh, probably in a Porsche gift pack too at one point I think um, so it's got suspension got the lens headlights full deco and it's got the engine cover that opens up uh, no details on the engine so as I said before Majorette can learn a thing of two or two from a uh, matchbox moving parts but other than that it's pretty good and we get the Toyota 2000 GT with the uh, knockoff rims, um, you know, the thing that you can knock on there to tighten them. Not sure how that's called. A little bit of suspension travel. The lens lights are the ones down here because these pop off ones, of course, is hard to have them lensed nice uh, fender mirrors there's a little logo or emblem there and the opening part is this thing here okay I need my uh, little tool where is it Swiss knife to the rescue uh, it's this one no it's the other one There you go. 
a little bit stiff to open up. Okay. Again, there's some detail in the uh, plastic. It is, well, I would say part of the interior, but the interior is black, so that's a separate piece, it, it seems. So if it's a separate piece, it must be really easy to uh, to tampo. But what, what do I know? Right. Then we got the Dodge Charger uh, RT. Uh, it doesn't say so. What the correct name is doesn't say on the box either. Okay, so I will go with that. Uh, huge Hot Wheels like uh, tires in the rear. Not a fan, it does say RT on there, so probably right. It's got the roll cage in the back. Um, yeah, and the, well, the front too. Uh, the hood opens up. Again, plastic separate piece, it seems. No lens lights for this one because it's got that grill with the flip up headlights, charger RT in the grill there. Uh, nicely done in the back. Well, it's okay, but definitely not, never going to be my favorite. Not so much into muscle cars. A Renault, a Renault 5 Turbo. Nice detail on the side and on the front. Mm, it's almost like it's missing a uh, a red tampo for the tail lights because you got the uh, silver one for the indicators, I guess. And then should there be some red and orange underneath? I have another one. I need to check that. If, uh, if that's missing. I think the other one also had an issue with the opening hatch and uh, I didn't want to force it either. So I'm kind of scared to uh, fully open that. It seems like it's hardly clearing. It's already kind of pain chip there, cause, but you know, that's normal. Uh, paint chips come as standard with the majorette. Okay, I think this is as high as it goes because the hinge is hitting the uh, the corner there. Okay, so that is kind of similar to uh, Matchbox moving parts. You know, limited uh, ability to open up the moving part. Snap. This one I will not be able to get off the base because um, I can, I will have a hard time getting the rubber off of the rear wheel with this, this cl closed um, wheel arch in the back. And uh, getting off will be difficult, but getting back on will be uh, virtually impossible. So we'll just look at it like that, like we did on the uh, Citroën DS gift pack and slide. So this is the original Citroën DS with the smaller lights. Later on, the facelift got the big ones with the turning headlights. Got the mirrors also on the fenders like the Toyota. Got the opening doors. And a uh, authentic steering wheel. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera here with the, the cardboard. So one spoke steering wheel. Nicely done in the back. This double chevron Citroën logo. Got the white plastic roof and uh, the um, indicators on top here are not painted orange. Fuel filler cap on the rear there. Oh, nice. Okay, put that one back. Then we got the uh, race trailers. I did not get the whole set because the, um, the, the American car set was gone, which is strange because usually that's the, the one that's um, left behind. Uh, it doesn't depict all the uh, vehicles on the back there. So um, I can't show you the 
American one. I can show you the vehicle that was in the back of the trailer. And that is the Ford Mustang GT. This is from the racing car series. But this is the same vehicle that is in the back of the race trailer. And then, uh, of course, got the um, kind of a blue theme uh, Shelby of Ford Performance. I mean, not Shelby, Ford Performance livery on the trailer. And then the trailer is pulled by a uh, Ford F-150 Raptor. Um, to give you an idea of what uh, it looks like. And it's got the opening doors, of course. And the suspension. So, I've encountered these on, in a few stores, not that many, they're not that easily uh, easy to find. I found a store that had them for like a nine euro. Didn't want to buy them, you know, I'm not that enthusiastic about these. Kind of done with all the team transport. Uh, stuff. I mean, Matchbox started that in, in decades ago and then uh, quit and then Maisto kind of um, took over in recent years. So I got a bunch of those and then Hot Wheels started and then I got a bunch of those. And now um, Majorette is jumping on the bandwagon. Uh, the thing is, what do you do with all these trail things they're so big yeah, there's just no place to store them uh, yeah it's kind of uh, you know uh, just doesn't excite me that much it says that it has uh, opening parts in this case the uh, the ramp of the trailer they mean so got them for seven euro and 55 cents if I waited a little bit longer I might have gotten them a little bit cheaper because um, the clearance you know continued and you will see that in um, future episodes but you know I thought you know there's still three of them here uh, why not pick them up uh, this is the most interesting one because uh, both vehicles are uh, new releases whereas the other ones have um, repeat releases in some way like that Mustang I just showed you so let's uh, open it up, take a look. Oh, I should just uh, stick my finger in here and then just pull on it. And that way I can put them back in there if I want to. And uh, still show them to you guys. This will be hard to get back in there, so I probably won't bother. All right, let's take a look at the Jaguar F-Type. A Bilstein livery also has the majorette above the uh, racing number. Lens headlights, nicely tempoed in the front there. Nice rims, nice interior. I get uh, yeah logos all over the place. Sweet. Well, should I? Yeah, I'm going to detach this from uh, the vehicle. Land Rover Defender 110. Not that uh, much suspension travel. Same uh, livery, but uh, black base color instead of yellow. This one has the bonnet that opens up. Not that far again. Nice lens lights. Used to have different colored lights front and rear in the early days. Now they're just uh, silver in the front and red in the white. Cost cutting again, uh, but luckily, luckily I have a few examples of the early ones that have the multicolor lights. Tail hitch obviously and a good looking interior. Mm -hmm. Fancy. So we got a um, metal trailer bed. 
You know, if they do, were, were just like this, just a trailer bed in metal, and then not the plastic part on top of there, would have been fine by me too. Of course, for some that would not look that uh, good, I guess. The ramp is plastic too. Got the little filler piece in there that doesn't want to come out. Okay, it's out. So we can reattach that and then just, whoopsie, drive that in there. It fits all the way through. And then does it? No, it doesn't click, does it? No, it just, uh, just shuts, no tampos on the lights here. That's unfortunate, that would have been nice. You can uh, see the vehicle in there. Porsche is next. Oh, there's that plastic thingy. And then see where it went. Here's the Porsche 934 in the Vaillant livery. Vaillant und Kremer. And this is a repeat a deco from this one. Same number and everything. But this was a vintage deluxe, so with the uh, uh, nicer rims and the rubber tires. Um, the other things this one also has that I've mentioned here. So let's open this one up. It's been in the box way too long since 2020. About time I open it up. Box. Nicely wedged in there. Um, so, oh yeah, got a tire that's a little bit off, but that's okay. Easily fixed it's because it was wedged in there like that. So, let's uh, compare these two. They have the same rims, the kind of Fook style rims, but uh, this one has the rubber tires, the one with the gold rims. Um, and then, tempo wise, yep. Yeah. Same, the um, new one has a little bit of a longer indicator tempo on the side. But other than that, pretty much the same it seems. Yeah. Let's uh, have a gander at the interior. And of course, it's got suspension. Yeah, the suspension on these 934s in the back is uh, often an issue. I've got uh, several that have uh, issues with that suspension. Mostly the more recent ones. Then let's take a look at the vehicle that is pulling the trailer. I'm not sure if uh, this vehicle has great uh, pulling uh, capacity, but anyways. Porsche Taken Turbo S, and uh, also a Vaillant livery, but a uh, livery that is uh, very similar to this one. Also 934, with shiny gold rims and rubber tires from uh, the Deluxe, Vintage Deluxe. Um, yeah, different number, it also has the number 9, like the other 934s. And a different livery, but same base color, basically. Cool. 
So again, got that plastic piece that doesn't want to come out. It is really wedged in there. Okay, just kind of squeeze it out with my finger. Let's reattach this. Oh yeah, you want to look at the trailer? It's got a black base now. It's got a different livery. You know, they're all uh, plastic tires in case you were wondering. Don't expect uh, yeah, them to have rubber tires. You're asking way too much if you want that. Let's put the correct Porsche in there. There you go. Like that. And there we have this one. So Nissan, Liz, Nissan Nismo livery. But the vehicle that is pulling the trailer is a Mac Granite. What the heck is that? So if this looks like an afterthought to you, I can tell you that it is. There was slated a, a Toyota set for this release, but it never got approved by Toyota. So they had to quickly cobble something together and they came up with this. Uh, as I've mentioned uh, years ago, um, when I did the live videos, I'm sure I mentioned it then, there's two car makes that have uh, the e easiest licensing of all car makes, and that's Volkswagen and Nissan. Um, so it's an obvious choice that in this case they chose for Nissan, because, you know, they... Uh, they will almost always give you the licensing. I don't think I've ever seen a case of them not granting a license. So they chose uh, the easy way and the quick way and went for this uh, Nissan set. Uh, that only has one Nissan in it. It's kind of funny, but you know, I guess they just had to uh, fill in the gap. We know that Toyota is not easy because uh, you know, Hot Wheels lost the Toyota license for a couple of years, or Mattel lost it, I should say. So we know they uh, they are not uh, the easiest one to work with. Nissan GTR Nismo GT3, which was in the racing cars uh, series, and that's my racing cars version on the right. Um, different dates, obviously. 21, 22, not that far apart. And I think the details are all the same. Again, so they're doing the uh, the Mattel trick of re-releasing the same cars over and over in different, different sets. That's not a good evolution, Majorette. Definitely not. So then we have the uh, Mac Granite that um, I just showed in the uh, previous video with a red box on there. So it's basically the same base. Uh, it's got a plastic thingy here. Um, not sure why, just to cover up an open space, I guess. But then the, um, the flat black that you see here, down there is all metal and also the cabin is all metal and the chrome and stuff. It's the same as the one with the red box on the back, the red container. It's a nice one, you know, it's got a nice amount of chrome and stuff. It's just kind of weird combined with this. White base on this one, Nissan Nismo. Same wheels as the uh, GTR, I guess, right? Yes. Cool. Put that one in the back because that's kind of, you know, kind of a weird one. Yeah, it's got that bubble still in there, dummy. Cheese. Cheese brain. There you go. Um, 
shall we lift you guys up again a little bit? Yeah, maybe that's better. I don't know. Jada Pink Slips. Um, where's the one with the price tag on it? Jeez. I'm so uh, not used to doing videos anymore. Where is it? Where's the price tag? So not used to doing videos anymore. Oh, here's it. Uh, anyways, I hope you'll forgive me. Most of you probably don't care about the price tag. I don't know. Mercedes AMG GT. Here's the whole set. Because these are premium cars with rubber tires, I don't think they're worth that. I only paid that for the ones that had an extra opening part, so those kind of uh, belonging to the deluxe range. That was this one and this one. So the Bugatti and the Nissan, I paid the five euro somewhere else, not in the store. And the other ones, you know, I want to get for discount. So. Uh, so I already had these two, and uh, now I uh, have a bunch more, but I'm still missing a bunch. Uh, we'll see if we ever get them. If not, you know, it's okay, because these are streetcars, have no opening parts. So there's not a lot of value for money in there. You just get the nicer rims and the rubber tires. The other ones have an opening part uh, by the looks of it. Yeah, they do. Um, okay. Uh, this one was opened up in the store, like that. Uh, and I was wondering, now why on earth is that? So I looked inside of here, and I noticed that the uh, mirror on the left of this Mercedes has a paint chip, which, as you know, comes uh, for free with the Majorette. Um, so apparently the POS that... Uh, ripped this open, noticed something on the mirror and thought, well, let's check it out and see if I'm right. And oh yeah, that has, has a paint chip there. Then I don't want it anymore. And I put it back on the shelf. Yeah, that's really nice. You know, if you collect Majorette, just get used to the paint chips, okay? Jeez. Okay, so the door is wedged in between the plastic there. Got the box here. Nothing really interesting. So major red castings in a Jada packaging. You get the Mercedes AMG GT. Wow, look at those rims. The new rims with the open holes between the spokes. I absolutely love them. Some people don't. Uh, you know, that is your loss, I would say. A nice color. Since the door is open, let's take a look at the interior. Nicely detailed. Where is that paint chip? A uh, very little one, you see? Uh, you can hardly tell. You can hardly tell. Right above my fingernail, there's a eeny beeny teeny weeny paint chip. Wow. What a crybaby. Nice. Love it. I was very surprised this Porsche was still there. I mean, what on earth? What a beauty. But, you know, again, their loss is my gain. Boxy box. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So, yeah, I'm show you it has the rubber tires, you know. one. Doors don't open very far on this one. This is the 991. 
no tempo on the on the wing sometimes you get one in case, this case you don't next up uh, yeah, there's also uh, the um, the push thingy in there in here and the jada packaging and that's the correct way to open it bronze-ish wheels it's got these study off-road tires A little bit softer than the uh, the other ones, it seems. Oh yeah, this one's got. This is a strange one. It's got the uh, the doors with the the upper part still on there, uh, whereas most opening doors by Madrid don't have that on there. Just these are cut off. Makes them look more realistic, but a little bit harder to open. Got the rucksack on the back, it's got the trailer hitch, but no thingy to keep the trailer on there. That's odd. But maybe the um, the, the spare wheel works as a um, device to keep the trailer on there. Also all red in the back, although that might be the case on the, uh, the real one too. No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, opens very far and wide. Nice. Plastic uh, roof. They seem to do that a lot nowadays. And the last one. Kind of a similar color to the range. Sorry, the Land Rover Defender. but different more purple and then the other one was more blue this one still has a metal body a metal uh, roof i mean body too obviously mercedes-benz g500 got the side exhaust there i think this uh depicted the amg version previously and now it's more like a regular G500 also got the off-road tires white roof and this is one of those matchbox moving parts that's how far it opens I like the Mercedes star on the, the rucksack LED taillights for the newer model snap. Thanks for watching.